Hi, I'm Rochambeau, and you're about to watch Fabbids! How long is this gonna take? I got a meeting at Denny's. Hi, welcome to the Film Pigs here on Geek Nation. We are the best thing that has happened to movies since Technicolor. Damn it. I'm Todd Anderson. This is Film Pig Steve Skelton over here. That's Film Pig Steve Falk over there. And this is our special guest, Rochambeau. Hey. He has been fronting, he's a rocker, you see. He's a rocker. He's been fronting bands in LA for 25 years. Currently fronts a band called Punch the Clown which you can see uh, at Paladino's, is that the name? Paladino's. Paladino's on May 18th. May 18th, be and there. Then, and then there's a, in June. Genghis Cohen. Genghis Cohen in June, uh, and then uh, back at Paladino's in we're July. going to Room 5. One room 5 in July. Spots. Lots of places one to of go see spots. Punch the Clown in Los Angeles. We'll hear some of uh, their music later. They're very good. Yeah. Uh, very, very, very exciting. Uh, also, if you want to learn how to front the band, you can go to a school called Front the Band. Look it up. Yeah, look it up on the line, on the web, on the on line the web. Web, line. web lines. Um, now, we start this show with this segment uh, every, every show. Gonna... Oh, gosh, yeah, I almost forgot yeah, the most By the way, it's an honor and a privilege to be here. May I say oh, that? Oh, yeah. Thank you for so coming. Popcorn. popcorn. Oh, There's the popcorn. Mm, 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 mm. It's not movies without popcorn. No, it's not. Now, as I was saying uh, before we stopped and enjoyed some popcorn, uh, we start the show the same way, you know, every week. And, uh, you know, a lot of people who do film criticism, they spend a lot of time uh, uh, researching and thinking about it and formulating their subjective opinion to let you know whether or not you should see the movies in the weekend but our subjective opinions are so good we don't need to do that we don't need to see the movies first we can just tell you whether or not you should see them because we're awesome we are awesome so we're gonna start with a rash judgment from uh, this guy over here Steve Skelton what? let what? me let no, me, let me Steve take it judgment. away you have to let me do this my rash judgment is for a movie called Stories We Tell. It's a documentary, and it's uh, by and starring uh, Sarah Pauly. Is that her name? Is that the right name? Do you mm -hmm. guys do you have it? Okay. And it's, <laughs> I guess it's been making rounds, I think, at all the festivals, and it's big and awardy thing, and, and it's about her discovering uh, crazy things about her crazy family. Uh, what? And, yeah, no one's I ever know. done that before. I know. Well, it's, it's <laughs> the, the central element is her finding out that maybe the dad she's thought her dad is her whole life actually isn't her dad. So it seems like it's got kind of like a Mamma Mia thing without the ABBA songs. Uh, but uh, that's that was my problem with Mamma Mia was the ABBA. But so, <laughs> so but it actually looks kind of interesting. But it's one of those things I'm like, yeah, I probably won't run out to the theater to it. But when it's on DVD or I can rent it or something like that, I'll probably check it out. Like when it's on a Netflix. Um, cause it looks kind of it looks it looks like it's actually not terribly pretentious. It's kind of I hear it's good. Yeah, it's uh, all right. Well, that's a that's a yes vote yeah. from Skelton on uh, this uh, Mamma Mia without ABBA. Obviously, it's not a big week for film releases. That's why we're talking about all this art house stuff. And uh, our uh, special guest Rochambeau is going to talk about another art house picture. I believe. Yeah, it's just a little art house picture called Star Trek. Into darkness. Oh, you took off the glasses. I learned that from you guys, the dramatic effect. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you it's guys taught me a lot really so far. Nice. So, yeah. the Star Trek movie is is uh, starring this kid, Chris Pine, uh, cap as Captain Kirk. My middle name's Kirk, Roe Kirk Shambo. I don't know if you knew that or not. But so, that's is. a yes vote right away. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And it has this. Uh, uh, this other kid, Quinto, Zachary Quinto, and he looks exactly like Quinto young Spock. Is it Quinto or Kinto? Is it Kinto? I think it's Quinto. It's Quinto? It's Q-U, so I would say, but uh, La Quinta, I don't know, who knows. Okay, yeah, so, but he looks so much like young Spock, it doesn't matter if he can act. And um, it's directed by A.J. Abrams of Lost. Uh, you know, Is he J.J. Abrams' brother? Yes, who did I say? A.J. <laughs> <laughs> Abrams. J.J. <laughs> Abrams, the actual J.J. Abrams, who directed Lost, who, uh, you know, was good up until the last, like, five or six seasons. <laughs> And, and then uh, about a couple years ago, I stumbled into um, uh, uh, the movie theater, and I saw the first one, and it was awesome. And I thought it was going to suck, but it didn't. It was awesome. So I say, go see this movie, absolutely. All right. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. Well, that's Rash Judgments. And uh, now uh, we actually uh, I get to see a trailer from a movie. And this is a Film Pigs exclusive. Nobody's ever seen this trailer before. Oh, wow. First this time ever. Really? Yeah. It's, it, 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 yeah. Well, what is it? What well, is it? it's, I, I don't want to give too much away, but it's a, a documentary wow. uh, uh, about a famous uh, filmmaker. Oh, so uh, check it. out this uh, uh, world premiere uh, trailer right here, right now, on the film page. A lot of people don't understand that John never intended to become a filmmaker. His real passion has always been music. In fact, he only started to direct movies so he could compose the scores. Let's look at a scene from a horror movie without music. Now, let's look at the same scene with some scoring. You can see the importance of my music. Without it, you have nothing. John was never really forthcoming about this because I never asked him about it because I don't care about it. But uh, from what I heard, the very first keyboard he bought was broken except for one key. He was very poor at the time. And he's pretty much used that same broken keyboard for all his movies. It's taken decades, but my dream of conducting a symphony has finally come true. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Yeah, I, I went to the symphony. Um, it was very, I want to say, maybe focused. Yeah, I really, really wanted to go, but I had a thing, a uh, hair appointment. A uh, business meeting, something. Uh, I have kids. John Carpenter's John Carpenter. I can't yeah, wait uh, to see that. That's that's really good. Good. Yeah, I love Kurt Russell looks better now than he ever has. He's in, before. He's in incredible yeah. shape. He's, he's in amazing, amazing shape. shape. Adrian Barbeau is still really hot. She's held yeah. up, yeah. man. She's, She's held, held up. up. I mean, the hormones have kicked in a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. You can, maybe you can see it a little bit, maybe. She no. might want to wax around this yeah, area. Yeah, and then, but, yeah, you know, whatever. whatever. But it's like, but that voice is just like gold. Still. Just like gold. Still gorgeous. Well, that's our show. If and because we have a music guest, you know, if this were a proper show, we'd play out the end of the show with him and his band, but we don't have that kind of technology. So uh, I, I happen to have one of his songs right here on my phone. Great. So I'm, I'm going to play, I'm gonna play the uh, uh, song on the phone. Here we go. We here, here we go. So, let's, let's just, uh, you know, we, uh, it was the witty banter. Hey, guys, I got that thing. It, Denny's? I, I gotta fire a drummer? I join you two in the uh, spot? Okay, oh, it was awesome. Okay, guys. Uh.
gimme, 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 I want you, mais non, c'est toi. 